Hi everyone, um, I'm back again and I just wanted to share with you if I haven't already on why I went natural with locks. And so um, I wrote a post about it with a little bit more detail, um, story details on uh, why I went natural and so I just wanted to talk about it here on my channel. So um, Olivia is going to join us. She's so talkative, so I just wanted to showcase her a little bit, and uh, while she's with me, talk to you uh, guys about um, just some of the things that I went through on uh, just going natural and things like that. So when I went natural, um, one of the most frequent asked questions that I get is why? Like, why would you want to get locks, right? Don't you have to wash it? I mean, don't you, uh, you don't wash your hair or... Um, you just don't keep it clean and things like that. So I went natural because I, um, like I said in my, in my blog post, I'll go a little bit more in detail, but um, I just wanted something different. I wanted to try some new things and I was particularly for someone that had locks. She was in the military. She's a Marine. And she had hers look neat. Um, even while in the military, uh, they even frowned upon things like that. And I thought that was just awesome. And so I felt like if she can do it, I can do it too. And so um, while, she, you know, while I was even in the process of getting my hair locked, I began to do some research. Research and um, basically here on YouTube has been like my number one resource and the, re the big uh, reason of why I went natural and uh, why I went with locks. And so I felt like the versatility, which is me, I felt like I can get that with locks. I felt like um, uh, it just showed more of my personality. And so I wanted to showcase that. I wanted something drastically different. And so at first, um, basically what I did, I cut off all my hair. And so one of the things that people talk about, too, is do I have to cut my hair, you know? For me, I wanted to. That was a choice that I wanted to do. I, um, you know, I was going, I was putting hair, I mean, perm in my hair and all kind of chemicals and stuff. And even though I spent, I spent like a year of just not um, putting perm and relaxers and things like that in my hair, I still wanted to cut it off and still have like a fresh new start. And so I chose to do that. You, on the other hand, don't have to. So for someone like me, you know, I was looking for something like that. And so, you know, what I try to tell people is do your research. And when they ask me questions like, do I need to cut off my hair? No, you don't have to. You can just spend time, you know, getting the perm out and things like that because you want it to lock. And so um, another thing is I also um, got some resources other than go looking on uh, the Internet and going on YouTube. I went and got some books. Let me see if I have my book here. I don't have my book here, but I have a book that I've used, that I've read, and like I said, all of the information would be on the blog and what books I used and read that has helped me even to this day. I love it. All the information still applies to now, um, everything that everybody is doing and things like that. And so I love it. I love being natural. I love my locks. I love the versatility of it. Um, I do wash my hair. I wash it every two weeks, every two to three weeks. And I just love it. I love um, finding out about different products and things like that that go well with my hair. And that's another thing. That's like point number three. Point number three is the fact that, you know, what works on some people's hair is not going to work on your hair. That's more advice that I also talk about on my blog. I also talk about that because I'm very passionate about it. Just because one person is doing it doesn't one person is doing it does not mean that you have to do it. You are different from what somebody else is doing. You have to find out what works in your hair. So as I was growing my locks and my locks was getting more mature, um, I went to this natural hairstylist that are so few in the area that I was in, but I began to ask around. I asked around to other women that had locks or that was natural. Who do you go to? And so that's what I did. I was actually active in trying to find more information. You know, a lot of people just give up because they just want it then and there. They want to be able to go across the street and find the best hairstylist in the world. But it doesn't work like that. You have to seek out on who can better take care of your hair and the needs that you're looking for. And so I particularly asked someone. I asked this girl 
who, you know, she also had locks. Hers was a little bit more mature than mine. But at the time, you know, hers looked so nice. And I wanted to know who did she go to. And she told me. And then from that point on, <coughs> I've been going to the same hairstylist ever since. And so while, me, while I'm going to this hairstylist, she had put some shea butter that she had made herself and was, you know, twisting it in my hair. Once she did that, my life has changed ever since. She had used shea butter and some other stuff in my hair. My hair has never looked so, um, uh, while she retwisted it, I went under the dryer and everything. Um, afterwards, my hair had looked so uh, freshly twisted, moist, hydrated, and I got so many compliments every single time I have used shea butter in, in my hair. That has revolutionized my life. It has, I've been using shea butter ever since. I use it to this day. I even have products that you can check out. I'm going to leave the link below that you can also use on your hair. I use it on my daughter's hair and I use it on my hair and you can also use it as a body butter. And so I'm um, saying all that to say that, um, you know, um, you just have to try out different products. Um, I'm going to also write a blog post about different products that I use that have worked great, that are awesome, and that are um, tips and um, other uh, resources that I'm even going to be using uh, just to find out on what works for me. Because like I said, what works for me may not work for you. You just have to find out what works for you, you know. And so I say all of that to say that um, even doing this uh, lock hair journey, I have loved it because I learned so much. You know, the, a lot of people also talk about that awkward stage, that awkward stage where, you know, your hair is just so frizzy, your hair is trying to lock, your hair is um, it's in that in-between stage, and you start to look crazy, which is true. You will start to look crazy, and I have, but I've worked around it. You can wear wigs. I know I've heard of other uh, lock stylists that are doing that phase have wear wigs. Others embrace that transition. You know, others have done other things. And so, like I said, you have to search out what works for you. I'm also going to be, um, in addition to my lock advice and everything that I'm going to be working on, um, my blog post, I'm going to be leaking some resources that you can try for yourself. Um, so, like I said, um, this lock journey, um, I also pasted um, on Instagram that you have to be patient with your lock journey. You can't just, just say, okay, I'm going to cut my hair and my hair is going to be, look like this because it doesn't work like that. You're going to end up looking like this and then five years later, this is what my hair looks like now. I have cut my hair short just like her hair, just like my daughter's hair. And I wish I had a picture of it. I'm going to have to dig it up, but um, you just have to be patient with it. I have learned so much. I'm so confident and I love it. And so, um, to end this video, because it's getting long, I'm also going to be doing a Lock Appreciation Day event where I'm going to be talking about it at this um, event. And so it's going to be products, it's going to be information, basic tips on how to care for your hair, and, and even people that you can go to um, to take care of your hair. So definitely check this out. Um, I'm looking so forward to uh, meeting you guys. If you're in the San Diego area, check it out. I'm going to link all the information at the bottom. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please come and, some, and subscribe. Go to my uh, website, uh, adrivenwife.com, where you can also subscribe and learn more exclusive, exclusive content and um, more deals um, when it concerns about my uh, shop, Silk Spot Creations, okay? Thank you so much, and I apologize for talking so fast, but um, I don't want to leave you here for so long and where you can read more about it on my blog. So check it out. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. Bye.